Hey everyone, Brian here with Sample Library Review, and today we're going to check out the Gabriel Flute and Barker Clarinet from Musical Sampling. Both of these libraries are available for the full version of Contact 5.8.1 or higher. The free Contact player is not supported for these two libraries. The flute comes in at 1.8 gigabytes, and the clarinet is around 2.1 gigabytes. Both of these instruments are a more performance focused with a lack of key switching and a few different patches that'll pretty much cover all of your writing needs. The prices for these are $79 for the flute and $69 for the clarinet. So real quick look at the demo first. We do have a few different patches here that I did use, but if you'll notice that even when I play short notes and long notes in the legato, there are no key switches needed for that. Same with the trills, we just kind of hold that note and release it and it'll instantly go back to the root note there. So you can play some really natural sounding trills all on the MIDI keyboard. So we have a few different patches, the workhorse patch, we have an emotional patch, a fat lead patch, and then we have sounds that are just the breaths of the player, which you can insert in between phrases when they're taking a breath or, you know, after a quick, um, say right after here, we could put in a breath there and just add some natural uh, ambience to it, a realistic human performance. So first off, we have the workhorse patch. Um, we have two different ones. One of them says natural and then one of them says tuned. Now the natural is going to have like slight pitch discrepancies, nothing, you know, crazy noticeable, but obviously a more human performance. It's not going to be perfectly on pitch every note, every second of the time, mostly at the beginning of the notes, it'll be slightly, uh, just very slightly sharp or flat to make a more human performance. So we also have the tuned patches as well that will not have any of those pitch discrepancies, but might be a little bit less natural. So one of the big selling points about this library is we can play short notes just with a quick press and then long notes holding down the key and then of course legato transitions in between them all, which is very, very convenient.
The biggest thing you'll instantly notice with the emotional patches is the vibrato comes on a little bit more slowly. It's got a progressive vibrato as opposed to the more immediate vibrato. Now the fat lead patches are going to be a lot more aggressive sounding, a much sharper attack, and I used these for most of the short notes when you really want um, that more accented attack, and it's, it's going to cut through a mix a lot more. And then finally we have the breaths patch, short and long, which are going to obviously be just the player taking a breath. All right, let's go on to the clarinet. We have the same articulations here, workhorse, emotional, fat lead, all of that stuff. So let's check out the clarinet now. Barker clarinet from the Atelier series, musical sampling.
All right, so these are overall, you know, very simple instruments, very easy to cover. Um, while we do have variations in the patches, so for instance, workhorse, it's kind of just obviously workhorse, kind of all in one. We can do short notes, long notes, and everything. It's got kind of a standard performance, nothing really crazy. And then we have the emotional patch, which is going to have that more progressive vibrato, better for slower lines. And then the fat lead patch is obviously going to be much more sharp accented for better for short notes, in my opinion, or very accented um, runs and slurs and stuff like that. One of the coolest things about these libraries is, as I mentioned, the ability to do short notes, long notes, all within one patch. There's no key switching. Um, it's really easy to do trills. It's really easy to do all of this kind of stuff, just playing it in, which is pretty rare for an instrument like this. And everything sounds very good, very natural. So you get a really nice slur between the notes, but it's not too pronounced, it's not too crazy, very quick um, to do runs, all that kind of stuff. Now, they are pretty limited. There's only a close mic position available and very bare bones interface. You get reverb and that's it. The different variations between the patches are helpful though, especially if you wanna do a more emotional line, load up the emotional. It's gonna be slower, a little bit more romantic and lyrical. And then for those really sharp uh, short notes, the fat lead patch will be better. It's nice that they include the breaths as well to put between the phrases and add a more natural human touch to your MIDI performances. <laughs> quick look at the Atelier series, the Barker clarinet and Gabriel flute. Very, very nice instruments, a little bit limited in scope, but for what they do, they work very, very well. You won't need to fuss with key switches. They just kind of blend right in. The CC01 does control um, more of an expression. You know, it doesn't really change the dynamics. So you're gonna get the same dynamics all across the different uh, CC01 values, it's just going to lower the volume for that. So again, something to keep in mind there. So all in all, while I mentioned the limits and the uh, kind of what this instrument and these instruments are meant to do, they do that very, very well. And for a very good price, you get quite a lot. And the performance of these instruments, the scripting is very, very good. Yeah.